and welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody in today's video I am sharing with you another idea it's kind of like a backdrop but it's a decoration it's kind of like in between but it's very pretty I will be using Chinese paper lanterns and it's very 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 pretty I love it if you want to see what is happening stay tuned and let's go here are the supplies that I'm about to use for this idea. I'm using my 10 pound fishing line, low heat glue gun, and a whole bunch of paper Chinese lanterns. These lanterns are super old. We bought them for our wedding. Uh, it's been 10 years now. I have three sizes, small, medium, and large. All the measurements and everything I will leave in the description under this video. So if you're interested, Go ahead and check it out. So you guys, I ended up having three, no, five strings. Starting from here, I tied right to this stick that is holding the whole rod. And I tied it from here and took it all the way to this stick right in the middle. And again, from this to far, far corner over there. Then I took my string, tied it right in the middle and took it to this rod and tied it in the middle right here. Then I took one string from here to here and one string from here to here that way my corners will be filled with Chinese lanterns as well. To properly assemble this Chinese lantern, you will have two sides of this frame. One side has these two indents over here. This is the bottom of your frame. And the top will have these two hooks with this kind of like a C-shape uh, hook as well. Place your Chinese lantern with your two circles over here upwards. So take your frame, find those two indents, place them in to your Chinese lantern. Hold it just like that and start raising your Chinese lantern. And hook those circles on your on your hooks that are on a frame and that's it uh, this is how simple this is I keep on working on your Chinese lanterns and we'll go to um, assembling the whole thing I think I have enough for now so let's put them on our fishing line I'm loving this look at this this is so easy to hook them on you just take your top hook that is already on your frame and you just hook it on to the bottom of the top Chinese lantern so as this one look at this it's super easy super easy I am loving this let's keep on working here my Chinese lanterns kind of slide down that's where a uh, low temperature glue gun comes in you place your Chinese lantern where you want it to be and then put a dollop of hot glue right on top of your fishing line and wait until it will set and that way uh, this glue gun will care uh, will create a barrier for your Chinese lanterns and it would not slide back and forth. You guys, I put these twinkle lights or fairy lights right on top of my fishing line. I just took my twinkle lights, I put the remote right on top of that thing that holds the whole rod right there 
If you're not sure, just tape it a little bit. I didn't use any tape or anything like that. And I just weave right on top of the fishing line, as you can see here. And I love how soft that is, and it gives like this romantic kind of a feel, and kind of like stars too. And I do have this tassel right here. I can't go without tassels. I just tied it right to the Chinese lantern's um, frame. I don't have it anywhere else, just here. So I'm planning to put it on this bowl as well, lantern right there. And uh, two more spots, I'm not sure where yet. I do have two more uh, sets of, or one set of two uh, fairy lights. I'm going to get the batteries and put more fairy lights and I am super excited. Also here is how the hot glue looks right here as you can see over there and it stops my Chinese lantern from sliding down. So this is a great hack. Use it if you need it. what I have for you guys today look how pretty this looks I am totally in love with it I love the fairy lights I love how these pyramids of lanterns hanging over there I love everything about it I used two big large size Chinese lanterns I used six medium um, Chinese lanterns and 16 uh, small Chinese lanterns I also used four tassels as you can see over here and i used two packs of fairy lights each pack had two fairy lights in it so four strands of fairy lights and of course i used my 10 pound fishing line and i will link every single supply that you see here in the description down below and here you guys there's two Chinese lanterns that I didn't hook on the hook that it had. I took extra fishing line and extended or tied the fishing line to my fishing line and extended them in two spots here and here. I absolutely in love with with what's happening right now. I honestly I wish I had more fairy lights to create like this I don't know ceiling of fairy lights but Overall, I am completely and totally happy with what I have right now. I hope you it will enjoy this video, it will be inspiring, and I will share a few pictures at the end of this video. Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my idea with my Chinese paper lanterns. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you love the idea? Would you do something for your event, something like that? I am actually interested in knowing what you guys think. So I'll be reading your comments and I can't wait to chat with you guys. So leave them all, pile them on in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it inspirational and helpful, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're here for the first time, like usual you guys, don't miss out on any other videos. Just hit that subscribe button and I will see you back very soon. Bye-bye.